Congratulations on buying your Warhammer Heroes mystery box and welcome to the awesome grim dark universe of Warhammer 40,000. The box contains everything you need to build your first member of Strike Force Justian. In this video, we'll be showing you how to bring the indomitable brother Vignius to life by building and painting him. Painting your miniatures is great fun and by following this guide, you'll be able to get your miniatures looking great and on the gaming table in no time at all. Before we paint our miniature, we need to assemble it. You can use the guide included in the setup to help you with this. We've also got a video called Your Mini, full of loads of top tips if you'd like to learn more about building Warhammer miniatures. This tutorial belongs to our super helpful Citadel Color Painting Essentials playlist. You can find this on our YouTube channel. The Warhammer Heroes miniatures are easy push off sprue models. When doing this, make sure to gently apply pressure near to where the sprue is attached to your model. You'll be able to feel a slight pop and then you'll know that the bit of the model has been released from the sprue. Make your way around each piece, pushing off the connecting sprue joints one at a time. Now, you can play with your Warhammer Heroes models without having to paint them but if you want to paint them, this is what you'll need. Firstly, you'll need to set up a painting area. It's a good idea to paint on a hard surface that's covered over just in case we have any paint-related accidents. You'll also need a water pot and something to use as a palette. If you don't have a Citadel palette pad, an old plate or a piece of cardboard will work just fine. It's also good to have some paper towels to hand. For Brother Vignius, We'll be using the Warhammer 40,000 Paints and Tools set. This is a set that includes paints, a brush, and tools to help you build your miniature. A great way to kickstart your journey into painting Warhammer. It also happens to have all the colors we need for Brother Vignius and the rest of Warhammer Heroes. With all that said though, how you paint your miniatures is entirely up to you. Don't feel you have to stick to what you see in this video. Don't worry either if you've never picked up a paintbrush before. We'll talk you through absolutely everything you need to know. Once we're all set up, it's time to start painting. We always start with an undercoat. This is the foundation layer, which gives all our other paints something to stick to. There are two ways to undercoat a miniature. You can use a spray can or paint layers of paint onto the model. In this case, we'll be painting several thin layers of McCrag blue. However, if you'd like to learn about undercoating with a spray can, we've got a video to help you out. Paint often settles when it's been sat for a while, so it's good practice to shake your paints before using them. This ensures the color is consistent throughout. We'll be using a starter brush for the guide, but feel free to use whatever brushes you'd like. We start by wetting the brush with a little water, then we wipe away any excess onto a paper towel so it's damp but not sodden. After that, we can load the bristles with a little paint from the reservoir inside the lid and apply it to the palette you'll see that these miniatures are packed full of detail. If we apply one thick coat of paint, we risk clogging up all that awesome detail. We avoid this by adding our paint to the palette and then adding some water to it. This thins it down. Then we can apply a couple of thin layers. This is how we get that lovely smooth finish. You can learn more about this technique in our thinning paints video. When you load up your brush, Take care not to get paint all the way up to the metal at the end of the brush. This is called the ferrule. If we get paint onto it, this can damage the brush as it dries. We want to keep a point on our brush to help us be neat. To do this, twist the loaded brush on the palette and pull it down towards you. This ensures there isn't too much paint on your brush and helps your brush keep a point. Now, we can start applying paint to Brother Vignius. Don't worry about being super neat at this stage. Just make sure you completely cover your model with McCrag Blue. You'll notice that the first coat doesn't completely cover the plastic. Don't worry, just keep painting over the entire model and try not to paint the same area repeatedly. Once the layer is dry, apply a second coat in exactly the same way. You'll find the coverage of the paint is much better this time round. And when that's dry, apply the third coat if needed. The end result should look something like this, with the model covered evenly in the blue. Well done, you've undercoated your first model. With the undercoat done, we can now paint the black details and for this, we'll be using Abaddon Black. Black areas include the bolt rifle casing, the undersuit, as well as the pouches and his hair. Both paints we've used so far are Citadel base paints. 
They're specifically designed to be a little thicker, which gives us more coverage on our miniatures. We've got a video that goes into more detail about them if you'd like to give it a watch. It's called Base Coating. Just like what we said before, it's always good practice to thin down paints with some water on our palette. Doing this creates a smoother consistency, which can be applied with several thin coats to a miniature. This might seem to take a little longer, but it'll give a much better end result, as it'll ensure we'll see all the detail properly. Take your time and work your way around the miniature, picking out any black details and being as neat as you can. If you get any black onto the rest of his head, don't worry, we'll be painting over this later anyway. With all those details done, we can now see that Brother Vigneus is really starting to take shape already. Now we'll be using Wraithbone to paint the rocks and parchment. Apply this just like before. This will take two to three thin coats to cover over as it's a pale color going over that blue undercoat. Be as neat as you can, but don't worry if you make any mistakes. You can tidy back up with the previous colors. Just don't forget to thin your paint down first. We've painted the parchment with Wraithbone and you'll see that it has a small wax seal attached to it. To paint these, we'll use Mephiston Red. Thin this down and apply a couple of layers. Again, try to be as neat as you can. Mistakes can be tidied up, but in general, the less paint that goes onto a miniature, the better. If we build up loads of layers, we can create texture and we try to avoid this where possible. Painting in all the details on a miniature like this is called base coating. And with this one done, our model already looks great. We've just got a few more areas to paint. Now, we need to paint the face of Brother Vigneus. We'll use Bugman's Glow for this. Remember, we're painting using paints from the Warhammer 40,000 paints and tool set, but you don't have to stick to our suggestions. Feel free to pick up extra paints and paint your miniatures in whatever way you prefer. Again, you'll need to do a few layers to cover over the undercoat. Remember to keep your paint nice and thin. For our next paint, we'll be using Balthazar Gold. You'll see that this is a shiny paint, which makes details on our miniatures look metallic. There are lots of these areas to paint on Brother Vigneus. We'll be painting the armor trim and any other iconography. If you're ever stuck on where to place the colors, you can always look at the box art to help you. Take your time and work your way around the miniatures, picking out all of those metallic areas. Again, refer to the box art if you're unsure of where to place the colors. We treat this just like all our other paints. Put some on your palette and then add some water to it. This will help us achieve that smooth finish. To add variety, we'll add some silver areas with lead belcher. We'll paint details that can be found on his backpack, as well as the bolt gun and the bolt pistol. When you finish with the metallic paints, change your paint water. This will stop shiny flakes getting into the rest of your non-metallic paints. Now, it's time to paint the base for Brother Vigneus. We'll be using Corax White and slowly making our way around the details painting the dirt. Don't worry, it won't stay looking white for long as we'll be applying Agrax Earthshade over it in the next step. This can be quite tricky, however, don't worry. As always, if you make a mistake here, you can just go back over with the previous colors. The next thing we're going to do is apply Agrax Earthshade to the whole miniature. This paint looks different to all others we've used so far, as it is a shade paint. Shade paints are very thin and are designed to slightly tint the flat surfaces of a miniature while settling into the recessed areas. This exaggerates the shadows and is a great way to take your paint job to the next level. To learn more about shade paints, you can watch our video all about them. Agrax Earthshade works over loads of different base coats, so we can apply it all over this miniature. We'll add some to the palette here just to make sure we don't overload our brush. Shade paints can quickly run out of control on a miniature. Then we can begin applying it. We want to do this heavily and neatly, working in small sections. This ensures it dries evenly, it doesn't leave any marks on flat surfaces. You'll notice that the paint tends to sit in the recesses and pull there. We don't want this to happen too much as it won't give us the finish we're looking for. To stop this, clean off your brush and dab it into the pooling. You'll see that this soaks up the paint. Wipe it off onto a paper towel and continue working your way around the miniature, controlling any excess pooling. An all over shade like this can take around 30 minutes to dry. Try not to touch the paint while it's drying as this could create unwanted texture on our miniature. 
Brother Vignius is already looking awesome and is more than ready to charge into the battle. However, if you'd like to see how to paint the rim of the base, keep watching. The final thing we're going to do to finish off our miniature is painting the rim of the base. This just helps to give us that super clean and finished look. We'll be using Abaddon Black to do this. Thin it down just like before and apply a couple of layers. When you're handling a miniature, make sure you've got clean hands. We don't want to accidentally smudge any paint onto Brother Vignius. And there we have it. Brother Vignius is complete and looking heroic. He's now ready to head onto the gaming table and join the rest of the Warhammer Heroes Strike Force Justian. If you'd like to learn more about painting Warhammer, you can visit your local store where our amazing staff will be more than happy to help out. Or you can head on over to citadelcolor.com. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.